Hi, it's Jess Todd Feld joining you from Times Square, New York City, my home city, and I wanted to share with you today the three biggest sales presentation mistakes and how you can avoid them. So here's mistake number one, winging it. Winging it is not a strategy. Now I have a question for you. If you're watching right now, be honest. Have you ever said, I talk about this all the time, I know my stuff, I'll just wing it. Of course you have, we all have, but the problem with winging it is it's a little shaky and it only works part of the time. We could do better than that. Number two, not rehearsing at least once. This one little strategy will be a game changer for you. Number three, data dumping. Many of us go out there, we have lists of facts and ideas and information. What happens is the prospect takes a nap there's a better way. Okay, so how can you avoid making some of these mistakes? Let's start with winging it. The opposite would be having an actual plan, one that is definable and one that you can copy. This is something, of course, I help clients with, but you can start right now today and think about what has worked with some of your best prospects to get them over that hump, to get them to make decisions. One of the other problems, not rehearsing at least once. Well, here is the solution. Practice with a video recording device. I'm pointing at mine right now, and chances are you have one in your pocket. Here's what happens when you do that. You will look at this video, you may not like it the first time, but there is so much important information where you are able to get out of your own body and see yourself the way the prospect or client sees you. How important is that? I'm going to answer that question. Very important. And now the biggest offense, when it comes to sales presentations, data dumping. The fix, telling stories and giving actual examples of people you've helped. What have you done specifically? Tell those stories. What you'll notice is you connect with people, they are more memorable, and they're more likely to take action. They're more likely to sit there and say, wow, that person who you helped is just like me. And when they remember you, they are set up to act on what it is that you said. So there are some other even bigger techniques out there like getting through the brain's filter. What, there's a filter? Yes, we all have a filter and it's the piece of the brain that decides, is this important? Do I care? Should I be paying attention? Also connecting with the part of the brain that is the gatekeeper. Helping to create yeses in the mind of those you speak to. There are many great techniques. If you're interested in finding out more, connect with me.